So I, I know we've talked about the fact that there's another cutoff next Tuesday. That's the big one that will really get rid of all the bills that are just not going to move forward. And it's kind of like, um, you know, trimming, trimming up your yard, right? We're getting rid of all the dead stuff. So um, really what we're seeing in the next few days is we're going to see a prioritization. We're going to start to see broadly what are, what is the legislature prioritizing for this session and what do they maybe want to put off until next session? So basically what's going to happen, um, and this is always, always interesting, um, is next Tuesday is March 9th and the cutoff goes into effect at 5 p.m. So that means that um, legislators will pass all of the bills they want to pass prior to 5 p.m. and then they will pick the most controversial bill that they would like that the Democrats would like to move forward. And as long as that bill is started at 5 p.m., they can debate all night if they want to. But that is the last bill that can be considered before that cutoff takes place. What is the five o'clock bill? Yeah, so we don't know yet. Um, really, there, there are lots of things it could be. Um, I will say that um, already we have had quite a few controversial bills that I, I would have guessed could have been the 5 p.m. bill um, that have already been passed out of each chamber. So fortunately, neither of our bills are subject to that. It's always bad news when your bill is the five o'clock bill because it means it's gonna take a really long time and people probably don't like it that much. <laughs>